Hey, welcome back to the Rufus Makes channel. Great to have you again. In this video, I'll be bringing back the wheel. Earlier in the year, I used this thing to decide the parameters I had to use to paint a pair of shoes. It decided the colors I had to use, along with how much time I got on the project. And it was a fun challenge, but I feel like it could have just been a little bit more difficult. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. This time around, it's gonna decide the color, how much time I get, and what I have to paint out of these six sections. So what that means is every single section, I'm gonna have to spin the wheel again for colors and time I get on the project. This could seriously get out of hand with how much time I get or what colors I have to use because the whole shoe could look vastly different. It should be an exciting and fun challenge. But before we get to that, I gotta clean these shoes up because they are not ready to paint. As always, I have to get rid of the previous coat of paint with acetone. These were some of my favorite customs, so this did hurt a little bit, but it's still better than spending money on new shoes, in my opinion. Okay, now I'm gonna spin the wheel for my colors. I got pastel violet, and then on the second spin, I got, wait for it, moss green. And then for time, I got an hour 30, and I'll be painting the toe box first. And throughout the entirety of the video, you should be able to see the time. The base layer will be the violet color. My plan is to make a whole scene on the toe box with this base layer pink being the sky. Maybe it could be like a sort of sunset. And then I'm gonna bring the moss green into the scene at the bottom here. It's gonna be a grass in this meadow scene I got going on. I'm gonna go over this section a bunch with green to make it look nice because I have all the time in the world. Because I make the rules for this challenge, I'm saying I'm entitled to use white paint on any section I want. So for this part of the shoe, I'll be using it to make clouds in the sky. And I'm going to shade lighter on the moss green to get the grass some more detail. And with that, this section is just about done. For section two, my colors are gonna be purple red and night blue. I'll have 25 minutes and the part of the shoe I'll be painting is the heel. I really don't have much time for this section, so I'm gonna go quickly to add a blue base coat. I feel like there's only so much that can be done in 25 minutes, so don't expect anything crazy with this one. Once I've done a few layers of dark blue, I'll switch over to the red which is gonna come in near the bottom of the shoe. And I'll be honest, I don't think I even had a plan for this section, and the time went by so much faster than I imagined it would. So I'm not very proud of this. It's just very boring. I mean, I basically just put the US flag on the back of the shoe, and I ran out of time, so the red didn't even look amazing. But let's put this behind us. For the third section of the shoe, the colors I get to work with are beige brown along with salmon pink. And I get an hour and 30, thank goodness. And I'll be painting this section, which I call a connector. I have a specific idea in mind this time, but I just hope it works because this part of the shoe is very small. I'll start with a brown base coat. And with time being on my side, I can comfortably do multiple coats. Since I decided I can use white paint on any section, I'll use it here to make these little white evergreen trees. But I still have the salmon pink color to use, so I'll be adding dabs of it under the trees to make little shadows. And that's this section done. The wheel gave me purple red, and black this time around. Looks like I'll have 45 minutes on this section, and I'll be painting the upper middle. I'm going to start us off here by putting a couple base layers of black paint on the entirety of the upper. I don't know how I feel about red and black together. It's very Chicago Bulls, but I've never been crazy about the color, so this was not my favorite section at all. And now, I'm going to use the red 
to make these semi-spheres. I did about six to seven of them on each side and went over them a couple times to make the red pop out. I was getting a little low on time, so I was definitely rushing here. I thought this was a little bland, so I added rings of white paint around each of the red circles. Since I had a little bit of time left, it definitely just ended up looking like blood cells. I'm nearly done. I only got two sections left. The fifth colors, I'll be using blue lilac and melon yellow. And it looks like I'm only going to get 20 minutes. I'll be painting the toe area of the shoe. I've sunk too much time into this project to stop now, but I'm not really liking it anymore. I think I should have expected this just off the fact that I'd be using around 12 to 13 colors in total. I mean, this is just kind of a mess and it's honestly pretty hideous to me. I mean, art is great because it's so subjective and all that beauty in the eye of the beholder stuff, which makes this honestly even more impressive because I think it's objectively bad but I still wanted to stick it out to the end. So for the last section of the shoe, I'm working with copper brown and curry. And I'm gonna have 50 minutes to paint this part of the shoe. I'll be completely honest, the whole second half of this project, I was just thinking about the next pair I'd paint. I think it's gonna be these 550s. I'll probably acetone them right after this actually. I think I had fun with this challenge. But I think I wanted to make it so crazy that it was way too complicated and there were too many parameters for anything good to come out of it. Since I painted a pair of shoes that aren't up to my usual standard, I think in the next video, I'm going to need a little bit of redemption. But I feel like it could have just been a little bit more difficult. <laughs>